live since I actually made a video, I think like maybe a week and a half, and I do apologize for taking that long to actually make a video. Um, in case you haven't, oh, and you might hear some chatter in the background, that's probably my brother, but um, I have been working now, and I have also been busy with my current situation, so I do apologize if I have been unable to make any videos. But I do have another product review for you, and I've also noticed some new people subscribe to my channel, so welcome aboard, guys. Glad to have you. But today I'm going to be reviewing this stuff right here. This is the Lush Honey I Wash My Hair Shampoo Bar. It smells really good, by the way. But you can find this at a nearby Lush Handmade Cosmetics Store, or you can find this online for exactly $9.95 plus tax. At least that's what I know. Now, I think the price might have changed on the website. I don't know if it does. I'll put put it in the description and let you know. I decided to pick up this bar a very long time ago. To be frank with you, I've actually been wanting to try Lush's shampoo bars for a while now, but I kind of steered away from them because of two reasons. One, I was using two other shampoo bars I was using, and I don't remember where they came from now, but I'll, it'll come to me. And two... Um, according to what I've read on the reviews from Lush's website and from forums and threads, people said that this stuff has a sulfate in it. I did check the ingredient list and yes it does have a sulfate. This will be very important as I proceed through this review here. This one after talking with the lady at the store and determining that since I have very dry hair I wanted to use something that had honey in it. It was either this or the fair, Fairly Trade Honey fairly traded honey shampoo that they had in the store. So I eventually went with this because I really like shampoo bars and it's less packaging. So I got to use this at least, I would say five to six times. Let's say five times. I got to use this five times. Oh, and I'm sorry if there's a little dent right here because at one point, I think on the fourth wash, um, on the fourth wash day when I was using this, I dropped it on the floor and that's how it got bent. So, I do apologize if it looks a little funny right here. But, simply put, this shampoo bar... Shampoo bar, wow. Shampoo bar is really, really, really good. So, here's what I think here. For starters, the color is nice. I really, really like the color and it's due to the honey and the beeswax that's used in it. Yes, this shampoo does have beeswax in it, so if you're not really much of a fan of beeswax or if your hair can handle beeswax, then by all means, I would suggest that you research about this product carefully before trying it. But the scent on it, I could smell this all day, and I think I mentioned this in my blog post at one point, that it smells like walking into a candy shop filled with caramels and toffee treats for kids and adults. That's what it smells like to me. And it's probably because of the honey and some sort of fragrance that they put in it. It just smells like honey toffee. And honestly, sometimes I find myself taking this bar out of the bathroom here and just taking sn sniffs of it because it's that good. I honestly wish the smell would um filter its way all throughout my bathroom. Sometimes I leave the bar out so it can do that, but that's not the case. So the scent is a bonus. Now, on terms of it actually lathering, as you've noticed, it looks a little funny right here because I used it the last time on my wash day. But in terms of lathering, it's not really that hard to get much of a lather out of this. And in case you haven't noticed, since it's circular, it's very easy to hold into your hand, as you can see right here. <clears throat> But for lathering, it doesn't take many swipes to get it. All you gotta do is make sure your hair is soaking wet, make sure the bar is wet, and all you gotta do is do a few swipes or move in a circular motion maybe three to four times and you should get a good lather. Unless your hair is very picky and it doesn't want to lather. But then again, everybody's hair is different. But it's not that hard to hold and it's not that hard to get much of a lather in it since it does have a sulfate so you're gonna get so expect a lot of bubbly lather from this bar and they said that this bar is supposed to last 80 washes maybe more than 80 washes here according to the lady that spoke with me at the lunch store she said this bar this little bar was equivalent to two bottles regular size bottles of the shampoo there that they have so so far I've used it like five times and it's still intact, by the way, but I'm going to get to how I maintain this little circular shape in a moment. But the biggest thing that I've noticed with a lather 
um, of this bar is that when I'm lathering it into my hair and I'm working it down to my scalp, it doesn't feel like my hair is stripped or anything around that. It's only when I rinse it out in the shower or the bathtub here is my hair just it feels stiff that's only when the stiffness and the squeaky clean feeling gets in and in case you haven't noticed I'm not really a fan of that so this leaves my hair somewhat tangled and it takes a lot of conditioner for me to detangle with this detangle my hair after I'm done washing with this so Every time I lather this into my hair, it doesn't feel stripped. In fact, it feels just fine. But then when I go to rinse it out, my hair starts to feel stiff and somewhat dried out. This is where I would use an apple cider vinegar rinse to combat this. And then afterwards, my hair feels fine. Now, according to the times I've been using this, I've been getting this problem every single time I've used this bar. And I think it's because of the sulfate. Now, maybe it's another ingredient, but I'm positive that it's probably the sulfate since this is like the first ingredient. I think it was sodium lauryl or lauryl sulfate. I'm not sure. I'll have to look at the ingredient list again. But if you, if you want to try luscious shampoo bars, well, for the people who want to try luscious shampoo bars, they might be a little discouraged from this because... Luscious shampoo bars are known for having a sulfate in them which produces that huge bubbly lather. Now they do have an article on their website which explains why they put a sulfate, particular kind of sulfate, in their shampoos. Um, I'm probably going to put that in the description. I'll have to find it. But they do have an article explaining that on their website. But this might deter people from actually trying to shampoo. So if you're going to use something like this, I recommend having a vinegar rinse. Uh, either be white vinegar, balsamic vinegar, apple cider vinegar. Just have a vinegar rinse or a citric acid rinse ready for you, ready and available for you after you're done using this shampoo bar. Whether it be this one, Scenic, uh, Ultimate Shine, Jason and the Argan Oil, and the other shampoo bars out there, even Brazilian. But um, that's pretty much the problem that I have with this shampoo bar, and I find that an ACV rinse usually covers that up. From people is that when they do use the shampoo bar the Jason and the Argan oil one in particular after a few uses it just crumbles apart now what I've done before I get to my strategy I would recommend for you when you go to purchase a shampoo bar either from the website or from the store do not get one of those tins don't get them okay Based on the reviews I've read and from my experience actually testing this out in the store, I had a very hard time getting the shampoo bar out of those tins. In fact, they would just stick to the bottom of the tin and then I would have to break off chunks in order to get it to work. I didn't want that. So what I did was, oh crap, and I didn't bring it out. It's probably still wet in the shower since they used it. But I have a wooden soap tray and what I do is, you know what? Be right back. I'll get it for you. Sorry, I had to make that quick trick so I can quick trip so I can get my soap bar, my um soap little tray right here. But what I do for mine is that I don't, for starters, I don't wash my hair in the shower because I don't want to risk this thing falling apart or melting away and going down the drain. That'd be a waste of money. So what I do is I wash my hair in the sink or in the bathtub here. And then when I am done, I make sure to carefully rinse off the shampoo bar and then I store it right on this little soap tray here. And I put this in a cool, dry place. Usually this would be next to my sink. This could even be out there on the um, next to my window here. And I just let this dry. Now, on one occasion, I did have to flip it over so the other time so it could dry and it won't stick to the thing here. But I find this is the best method to drying out your shampoo bars. That way, it can dry out completely for your next use and it won't crumble apart. Now, I haven't tried Jason and the Argan Oil yet. That is on my list to try, but I'm kind of unsure about that. Even though I love the scent and I love that it has Argan Oil in it. But it might work for you people who happen to like Jason and the Argan Oil. So I recommend getting a soap tray or a soap dish. Probably, preferably a wooden one if you can. So you can dry out your bar better this way. Because I find that this method keeps my bar circular. And it helps me ready 
once we get ready to use it for another time when I feel like using it. So I prefer this method and I recommend this method to you if you like luscious shampoo bars. A really really good shampoo bar, I just wish that they picked another foaming agent, I guess. Like desoglucoside, I think that's how you pronounce it? I could be totally wrong on how I pronounce it and I do apologize. But I feel like they should have picked another agent for this. Now the agent that they used to make this lather was fine, but I don't like the stiff feeling it leaves afterwards. So I guess in whatever score out of 5 stars I give it, I'd probably give it 4 stars. The lowest I'd give it is 3.5, but the highest I would give this product alone right here would be a 4. I would have to shave off a star because of the stiff, squeaky clean feeling that it gives my hair. I don't like that. so. Because of that, I can see myself trying this, trying another um, shampoo bar in the future. I mean, I love the smell of this one, and I love how well it cleans. It does clean your scalp very well, by the way. I do like the way it cleans. I just don't like that drawback that I might have mentioned maybe twice or three times now. So, I guess I can see myself trying another shampoo bar in the future, but I'll have to see. That's pretty much all I have to say about this shampoo bar. If you tried Luscious Shampoo Bars, let me know which one you tried in the comments below and how well it worked for you. And if you have any questions about my method of um, drying out the bar so it can be used for another time and so it can stay in its circular shape, just leave your questions in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. I do, as I said before in the beginning, I do apologize for not getting back to you with these reviews. I have been really really busy so I'm gonna do the best that I can I mean my summer semester is almost over one of my classes are, are um, nearly done and I do have an online class so that's a bonus and that might mean I might be able to produce out more videos for you so yeah that's pretty much that's pretty much it all I have to say here and as always, leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Feel free to share the video too. Um, my blog post will be in the description if you want more information here. And I will see you in the next video. And it's getting close to summer, so if you haven't already, get out there and enjoy the summer, the summer sun. Enjoy the beach. Go to the pool. Do what you usually do during the summer, okay? Stay safe and have fun, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Alright? Bye-bye.